During those 30 days, Musa السلام, was fasting every day. And because of his fasting, the breath of Musa السلام, started to change. Because of that, Musa stopped fasting. So Allah Azza wa told Musa, why did you stop fasting? He said, oh Allah, my breath was changing. So I stopped fasting, so my breath stays. My breath stay, it has a good fragrance. And this is something that you might be pleased with. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told Musa, Oh Musa, don't you know that the changing breath of the one who fasts is more beloved to me than the fragrance of mask? And because of that, O oh Musa, you've done something they should have not done. Because of that, you stay an extra 10 days. So from 30 days now, it became 40 days. After 30 days, Bani Israel are waiting for Musa to come back. And Bani Israel are very stubborn people. You can't give and take with them. 30 days went past. Where is Musa? Ya Harun, where is Musa? Allahu was supposed to come in 30 days. 31 days went past. Few days went past after 30. Where is Musa? Musa promised us that he's coming back. It looks like Musa passed away. It looks like Musa is lost. And all the rumors started to take place. And Bani Israel could not relax and sta be stabled. And Harun السلام, was the soft type of person. Relax Bani Israel, Musa will come back. Relax Bani Israel, Musa will come back. When Bani Israel left Egypt, many of the masters that they used to work for, they left a lot of their jewelry with them. When Bani Israel left Egypt, they took some of those jewelries that belonged to their masters, that belonged to their Egyptians. Harun السلام, he said, maybe Allah Azza wa Jal is punishing us because of those jewelry that we took that does not belong to us. And for that, O Bani Israel, collect all the jewelry that does not belong to you and dig up a hole and bury it in the ground. So they all arrived. And they all followed the orders of Harun السلام, collected all the jewelry and buried it in the ground. One of the sick and diseased people from the Bani Israel by the name of Samiri Samiri is the name of that member from Bani Israel. When Jibreel السلام, was throwing the dust and the mud in the mouth of Fir'aun, and when Jibreel used to come to Musa السلام, Samiri by one reason or another, he saw Jibreel on his horse. And he realized that every time the horse of Jibreel will step on a land, that land will plant a tree or plant a grass. And in that place that Jibreel's horse will step on, will plant, will become a life. So what did he do? He got some dust from those places that Jibreel's horse stepped on and he put it in his bag. And when that jewelry and gold was buried, Samiri got together with few Bani Israel and he made he made a calf. He made an animal calf. And then he, after he made a calf out of gold, he threw some of the dust that he had with on the calf. So what happened? The calf started to make noises as if it's, as if it's alive.
And then he started to gather up Bani Israel when they saw that. And they started to hear the noise of the calf. Like air going through, making this noise. Bani Israel started to prostrate to that calf. Subhanallah. What's wrong with you people? Musa alayhi salam is late for a few days. And you saw what Allah Azza wa Jal. You saw what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had been in front of you. The miracles and the great miracles that took place. And now you replace Allah with a calf made out of gold. And then Samiri start to call out and say, This is the Lord that Musa is looking for and that's why Musa is late. Musa is supposed to be here in 30 days and now it's few days over 30 days. And Musa is looking for his Lord and his Lord is over here. Harun saw that scene and was so amazed. Oh, Bani Israel, what's wrong with you? You replace Allah with this golden calf? You replace Allah Azza wa Jal with something that you make with your own hands? And Harun got so upset and angry and worried to the reaction of Musa alayhi salam. When Musa saw that, he got so angry, so upset. The bricks in which written, Allah's orders are written on it. وَأَلْقَ الْأَلْوَاحِبْ And he came to Harun, so angry from Harun, and grabbed the beard of Harun, and shook Harun, and he said, I'll leave you for 40 days. I'll leave many Israel, Muslims and believers. I'll come back and see them idol worshippers. He put the blame on Harun. He was so angry from Harun. How could you do this? How could you let them? So Harun responded back and he said, You are the son of my mother. I would not accept such a thing like that. Oh, the son of my mother, relax. They were going to kill me when I responded back at them. They were going to come and slaughter me. I stopped them and tried to stop them and I preached to them and I told them, Stop, 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 stop. And they refused to listen to me at the end. They threatened to kill me. So I left him. What can I do more? 